hey welcome back guys to my channel and thank you so much for watching and you know welcome uh, for a new content new video and something new at least new for me uh, but yeah in this video I wanted to discuss with you this uh, EcoFlow River uh, power station that I purchased from eBay it was actually listed as a uh, not working or parts only I'm gonna send you uh, not send you I'm gonna maybe share this uh, on the screen I'm gonna upload the picture of this uh, power station that I purchased and I was able to fix this thing so I'm gonna do maybe part two on exactly how I fixed it and to be honest I opened this puppy for almost 10 15 times there were some mistakes I was making as I was closing it back so I have to reopen and you know re putting wires here and there so I feel like really pro at this time because I opened this thing like many times. I feel like I'm really good at this by now. So I'm going to show you step by step, complete tear down, completely to the cell level where you can see the individual uh, or at least the battery pack of all the individual cells that are in the battery pack. Uh, but yeah, I was able to repair it. In the next video, I'm also going to discuss with you exactly how to pinpoint the issue when you're dealing with this uh, river one. And I'm also going to give you some, some of my personal feedback because honestly after using this for about a week i'm not happy with this i mean there are a lot of problems uh you can say it's a it's a, like a dog with flea type of situation this is just not a good i mean it's over engineered there's just too much machines inside but at the end it's really over engineered there's a lot of issues i'm noticing i'm seeing the you know the battery pack is also getting hot i do think maybe it's because it's a, it has some few bad cells but anyway without wasting too much time i'm gonna maybe discuss more as i move forward but this is the box it came with uh, again i paid only like literally 50 dollars for this puppy 50 dollars plus shipping i think it's amazing for the price i got but yeah it was in a box you know eco flow it has a bunch of cables and that's where this puppy reside and this thing it goes so yeah i don't wanna again do the unboxing stuff but these are the cable you can plug this in your car cigarette lighter and this is XT60 or 90, one or the others, I think 60. You plug this puppy in the side, plug it in. And yeah, this is the DC adapter one. Uh, but anyway, let's start unboxing this puppy. So I, I can kind of show you at the bottom, there are a few screws, but you don't really mess with these. The only time you connect or you open the screws is when you're adding a separate battery pack. I mean, I can quickly show you, I guess. So you know what to expect inside but you don't really need it because first i thought i need to open here as well but i'm gonna i guess unbox this too let me show you here okay here you can quickly see you see these little pins these metal pins this is where the additional battery pack so it's basically like expandable if you decide to add an extra 288 watt hour additional cells so you basically have the cell on their website. I mean, it's kind of older model. They don't sell anymore, but maybe you can find somewhere on eBay or Amazon, I guess. But basically you slide that new one in and you put the screws inside. So it's like adding an extra battery pack. But if you want to open this for repair for other reasons, you don't really mess with the bottom area. So anyway, let's start the top. So the only thing you have to remove is these four tab, one, two, three, four. So I have this little, little thing laying around. So this just does not give any scratches. So all you have to do is carefully put that puppy in and kind of bend this way very, very slow. So I was using the wrong way, uh, like this. And it comes out nice and easy. Look at that. It's already out without giving any scratches. Same on this side. There you go, nice and easy. Not a whole lot, oops, but whatever. But yeah, there are four long screws you use this one of this uh, allen wrench one all right once you remove this thing just comes out like this literally handle put this aside this lid comes out as well sometimes it get stuck in this area in input area so you kind of hold this puppy here and then slide up like that look at that how it came out you see how it came out no cables nothing just kind of put your hand on this side push this down sometimes it gets stuck in here and it pull the whole thing so just kind of push this puppy down and pull it okay so we got this one out 
completely lid okay now there are three different external things or i guess that connects to the main board this is one that main assembly number two this comes out and then number three the three on three sides okay so very first thing i would do remove some of the wires from here and i'll go maybe i'll do completely um put it back as well i don't know if i need it but uh but maybe i i guess i'll do it i don't know but yeah so very first thing i would like to do is remove this ground wire one you know what let me zoom on this a little bit i think that's fine okay so you have to remove this screw let me see if i can move this puppy here uh, let's see okay i hope it's a little better okay this screw is right here so you need to remove this ground screw this is for the ground wire so remove this and i would like to put this one back so that way you don't lose it so remove these wires and i like to put this one right back on the same spot just like that there you go just like that okay now when you're done with this you have to remove this black wire Oops. Let me move this a little bit this side. There you go. Now we are going to remove this black wire, which is a heart line. When you plug the AC cable, AC from AC outlet. So uh, this way. So this black one is a main heart one. So you, all you do is like press. There's a little lock right here. So you press the thing like that and then you pull it upward. Well, let's try again. Nope, not strong enough. Let's press with this maybe there you go there's a little tab you have to press and then pull it so it came out now the second is white one which is a neutral one you press with your fingers and there you go it came out now this one is just comes right like that and this is a ground one there you go so once again when you're looking right here this is the white one which is your neutral wire yellow one your ground wire and black one here which is your heart wire and this goes as is there's, there's only one way you can't go wrong here and this is your ground wire so yep we are out on here so put this puppy aside now the next thing we have to do unplug this cable because this is coming from your battery pack this one actually let me talk like this so this one and this one is coming from your battery pack so this one you just pull it out like this so these two wires are aside you are done here now the front panel you remove this wire one and this wire number two after you remove these two this should just come right off look at that you plug these two puppy it comes right out there's no screws nothing no lock tie nothing comes out like that so put it here done with that all right now there are i believe there are five screws so one two three four five okay so there are five black screws okay so let's take a screwdriver phillip head normal nothing fancy simply take this puppy one two three fourth one is right under this ac line it's kind of hidden but you have to kind of go like that number four there you go and number five so this is a fan assembly guys so see this is the fan so right under the fan you have to kind of remove it carefully without tearing it apart so kind of remove this puppy like this and then right below is our screw hopefully you can see that it's right here so i'm gonna put a screwdriver here and remove this puppy there you go it's out oops ready to go there you go i got the screw okay so we got a total of five screws five black ones okay now the next one is we have to remove this fan line this fan cord which is right here okay maybe let me unzoom it so you can hopefully have bigger view there you go so there is this line which is coming from a fan you remove this because fan assembly and this main board is separate so 
So yep, you do this, and now this board should just right come right off. Actually, we gotta remove this cable as well. There you go. Okay, you remove this is the AC line. Basically, you get AC uh, power from from here to these outlets on the side. So yeah, once you do that, now they should come right off. And oops, there's one more cable. Yep, this one cable, which is from my, again AC outlet. This came out, it came right out like this. Look at that. So that's your main, main, I guess, main board, which has your inverter, which converts your DC to AC. It has your all the Bluetooth information, main circuit board, and all these like a fancy stuff, bunch of relays, and bunch of capacitor, and of course your cooling fan, which is right here. And yeah, this is kind of main processing board. This is what does main, I guess, all this you know all these machinery or main programming or whatever you want to call it okay that one is aside now to us to remove this puppy there are four screws four silver looking screws all around so number one number two okay then number three And number four and this puppy just lift right up like this and the fan assembly is part of this main cover for the battery so you can put it here again there are four screws now this of course comes out like this this is your outlet one on the side so this you can put it here or wherever so this is here now this is your main battery pack and you just have to remove this wire this XT60 or whatever, and then this wire. All right. Now, notice one thing. You see this light in the middle? Let me show you. You see it? This light. Look at that light. Now, this means the battery pack is on right now. You know how you turn it completely off? You press and hold, and this completely power off. So you can power off by pressing here. You see how the light went off? Now the battery pack is officially off. If I leave it on in about a month or so, and that is where all the problem happens. You see this battery blinking and, and you know the things won't charge anymore because one of the cell or one of the segment is way too low to be able to charge. So you wanna make sure you power it off. And to power it on, you press and hold for just two seconds and look at that, how it's blinking. See it? The solid means or green blinking means it's it's powered on and you press and hold it's powered off now this is means it, it's the bms is off the bms completely shuts down and now you can literally lift this entire battery pack and i'll show you here okay so this is it guys look at that so there are total 40 cells so 10 here 10 here 20 and 20 on the other side so there are total 40 cells and this is basically 8s battery config and you know i again i built a lot of chinese battery using a chinese you know bms uh, battery management system or uh, board uh, but, you know they have normally b1 b2 b3 and this one they have b0 so zero is of course your b minus zero is minus again b1 is one b2 is two b3 is three b4 is four and vice versa and all the way to eight but again, in the next video, I'm going to discuss all these technical details on how exactly you repair this because I repaired this puppy completely. It's working amazing. So I'm going to show you in the next video how you do it. But yeah, this is all the complete tear down. You know what? I'm going to make part two of how you put this back together. I think that would be easy because I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end this video here so you can see part two uh, where you basically how you put the whole battery back together. And then part three can be where I'm doing the repair. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope you learned something new from my channel. If you did, do like, share, and subscribe to help my channel so I can, you know, come up with more new ideas to help you guys. But anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.